It's not news we want to hear, but WA's jobless rate has hit its highest level in almost 14 years. It means that around 96,000 West Australians are now out of work and there's more pain to come ahead of Christmas. 12 months out of work, Amber Williams has applied for more than 600 jobs. I didn't build up my career to not have a career for 12 months. So for me, it's, um, it's, my ego's gone down. The mother of three was made redundant after 17 years as an underground mine worker. There's so many people that um, are in the industry that are out of work. So you are up against a lot of other people. And the latest job figures are proof. In the month of November, 10,000 jobs were cut. That's about 330 a day. We should have prepared our economy, prepared our employment uh, structure to ensure that we're able to ride out the inevitable downturn. The mining slump is to blame. In June 2012, the unemployment rate was 3.5%, representing 48,000 people. Three years later, in November 2015, it's doubled to 6.6%, with 95,700 people now looking for a job. We're going from the construction phase into the production phase. And with that, you do see a downturn in the number of jobs. But nationally, it was a glowing report card. The jobless rate fell 0.1% last month to 5.8%, with more than 71,000 jobs added. The lowest level in 19 months. That's something to be very pleased about. Not what struggling West Australians want to hear. There's a lot of businesses that I've noticed in Perth that are, that are closing doors or have made people redundant. It's the worst I've seen it. For Perth's unemployed, they thought it would be easy to get a job in the city, never anticipating this kind of economic situation. They're being urged to get into different training and upskill, but many have already tried that. What it's about now is making sure that it's as easy for people to move into other sectors as they move out of mining and oil and gas. But other industries are also hurting. WA's health department will offer 250 voluntary redundancies and New WA broke the tough news to staff yesterday that 300 jobs will go next year. Tracy Vo, Nine News.